In the rather excellent YouTube series, The Garden Railway, by Mark Found, the late Bob Symes said that leaves on the track are one of the greatest banes to the railroad. True, in fact, I've had a lot of fun getting the fall leaves hauled from the track to the uh, compost bin that my wife has set up near the house. But I would also say that my wife's garden and her creeping plants is also something of a bane to the Garden Railroad. So, today we're going to do something about that. Again. It's important to note, building a garden railroad, that you don't want a tunnel that's longer than two arms lengths, because if you have a derailment or something in there, or in this case, more leaves, you want to be able to get to them. So, these two pieces of, of chicken wire are right around two arms length. That, and I can get one of those little grabber things to get in there if I need to. So, now the job is to put this back on there. Like it wasn't. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, that caused me some problems. So let's make sure that, that stays like it's supposed to. That's about where I want that. So let's secure it there. And that's about where I want that. So now we just go through and make sure it's where it needs to be. We'll fix that one later. Okay. That's in. I could use some. Probably use some wire to thread those two together. Make sure they stay a little bit better. So now the objective is to finish this great section so that it will protect the rest of the track from the garden or the garden from the rest of the track. Either way, protection must take place. So, let's anchor some there and move over here. So again, the purpose is to protect the plants from the chain and the chain from the plants. I still want to have access should I need it. The derailments and leaves that got through anyway and plants that got through anyway. All those things. We are 
about done. So here we have the finished product for the most part. I'd actually go back and add some more there, but just provided a little protection for the garden from the train, and the train from the garden, of course. And with the open top of the mesh screen there, I am able to retain access to the track. I might finish that spot off there between the fence and the, the hoop and the... Well, you see what I'm saying. Well, that wasn't too hard, was it? Um, just remember, if you're doing this in your own railroad, you want to make sure that you have um, no more a tunnel of no longer than two arms length, so that way you can get to stuff if you need to. And um, if you are doing, the, if you are watching this to figure out how to build your own video, again, check out Mark Found the Garden Railway. It's an excellent series. Loved it and have used it to build the K and A. So next time, I think we might get to work on underling we'll see how things go so till next time